Hallo, 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 hallo. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. We are back here on my Patreon server. How is it going? Hope you're doing well. Having a good old day. Um, now I streamed, uh, I think yesterday, uh, from when this video is on. And we did some stuff here. Uh, I made myself uh, one of these enriching factory just to enrich all of those. And I set up some builders as well. Um, because I'm upping my resources by a, a good amount. Um, so this is doing, well, this is doing a, a few things, but there you go, you saw that getting a chunk. What's it doing? Uh, 25 out of 90, not too shoddy. Um, if we just go home for a second, um, you can see this, and I forgot to show you uh, the thermo generator. So I made it nitro, and I've got a block of uh, nitro crystal, or whatever it is, uh, and it is insane. Thirty-eight thousand, well, thirty-eight thousand four hundred. Um, that's 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 a lot. That is a lot. EF it says rather than FE, but per tick. So eight hundred percent because it's that block is like eight thousand Celsius or whatever. Um. So it's a bit crazy. So like that's that essentially has sorted out all my power problems. It's a bit it's a bit insane, uh, and I forgot to show you guys. Oh no, I, I f totally forgot to show you guys that last episode. Um, I've also just made a quantum storage unit for for the glass here. You can see, yeah, it's zero percent full. And I think that's about it. That is about it. This is doing really rather well. Uh, so I've basically got fire resistance, which is is quite nice. And I guess I could add more things, but I don't really want to have an inventory full of charms. But I think that one's all right to have. Um, and I think what we're going to be doing today is I saw that there was this. So I I sort of I was looking through, and I know I haven't touched the Tetra mod, which is something that we might still do because I'm intrigued by it, even though I'm like way more advanced than it now. Uh, I've never done the Tetra mod, so it might be interesting to have a look at. Uh, create mod, yeah, I just, I just, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. Um, and there's, I know there's others that I haven't really touched, like Nature's Aura, but I sort of have done a bit of that before. Astral Sorcery, Blood Magic, yeah, I'm not too bothered about those. But I saw, like, just right at the bottom, the Adelon mod, and I don't really know how to turn. It means spirit image of a living or dead person, by the way. There you go, the Adelon. So I thought we'd have a little... I guess a little gander at it uh, and see what we can do. Dark magic mod focused on prayers, alchemy, sacrifices, and magic shenanigans. Now I am up for some shenanigans, basically. Uh, cool gadgets and toys to play around with. I thought I thought we might, we maybe might be able to find something kind of, you know, fairly nifty. Um, so pewter, we we need to begin with. Which how do we get? Um, I know I, I did start it at one point. How do we get pewter? Pewter blend. Oh, there we go. Lead and okay. Well, that's that's easily enough done. Um, pewter, pewter blend. There we go. So we get that and pewter inlay. What? Um, oh, and that's just that. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I have to do that. And there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Are you going to give me that? Yes, you are. And then... I won't do all of this on camera, don't worry. But I just thought we'd do a little bit of it. Um. Oh, no. I needed, ugh, I needed 16. Have I got any more pewter in here? <laughs> no, because why would I? Have I? Yeah, I thought I did. I thought I'd already made some at some point just to have a uh, a mooch around. And I need, oh, I need more of that. Recipe. Hump. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Just to get the stuff, you know. Farmer's Delight. What? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, I, I've done that a few times. There we go. Um, What, what else? What else do we have in this? I kind of want to do that. Because it looks cool. Uh, chants are an important mechanic in Adolin that will allow you to progress in theurgy um, and unlock the more powerful items and tools in the mod. To perform chants, you'll need to learn the signs and then combine them from your Ars Ecclesia to compose the correct sequence for the chant you want. While most signs are learned from the gods themselves while progressing in theurgy, a few basic ones might be known to magic users in uh, your local swamp. Oh, wow. 
no magical users in the normal world. Try paying a visit to your local swamp and throwing your Ars Ecclesia at one of them. You might learn something new. So I am guessing that that is, what, throwing it at a witch? Now, I have this random, um, where is it? Witches love you, uh, Trinket. And I, at one point, I picked up a witch because I thought that would be fairly amusing. So we've got a witch here. Hello. And witches basically will give me stuff. But let's just, no, no, no. Why are you doing that? How weird, man. What, what are you doing? Has that just been picked up here? Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go. The wicked sign. How funny. Okay, well, that was... That was good. Uh, I don't know what that means, but we, we definitely learned something. Rituals? No. Artifice? Oh, gosh, look at all, all of this. looks so gorgeous. Look at how amazing the world looks. It looks brilliant. Mystical. There we go. Wicked sign is the mark of an individual who has spurned righteousness and salvation to seek personal power. Be wary of the creatures and invocations it commands, lest you find yourself corrupted by it. Okay. Um, cool. So I guess that's, that. well, that's one thing. Um, we, we need so many more things. Now, Magic Workbench and Crucible. I already have the Crucible, um, not not the play. And I also still dis... I, I basically spent some time on a stream uh, making it always be water bucketed using an item router which has become like the best mod ever in this pack it seems so we've always got this basically um watered up and you can see there's a, a campfire underneath there so i've got that already and i've got um camp no no workbench it was work yes magic workbench i have there we go bam um can i just pick this up maybe there we go. And that should... We should see this now. There you go. Done already. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. So that that works. I got I got some stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh. Wouldn't it be... Imagine without one of these. Um, crucible recipes come in different steps you'll need to follow. Throw all the items for a step into the crucible. Wait for the water to change colour and then quickly drop all the items for the next step in until all steps are done. Okay. It's too slow, the water will evaporate and you'll lose the items. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Some re recipes also require you to stir the crucible. You can do that by right-clicking when it is the right time. Gosh, that is quite a lot of stuff. So, alchemy practice. Um, arcane gold ingot. Um... Does it not? Oh, it doesn't say in this. Let's just see. Arcane gold. So, step one, redstone dust and a soul shard. Wow. Step two, gold ingot. That, that's that's what we do, right? Um, by the looks of it. Okay. So I... Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I guess I should do that. So... Has that been... Has that... Okay, I can see them in there. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, stuff definitely happened then. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> Have I done it wrong already? I feel... Oh. I feel like I might have. Like, surely that's taken way too much time. Maybe this is bad because it keeps, like... Uh, I should maybe... I don't know how to turn this off. Like that. Oh, that's now green. Oh, gosh. This this might have broken it. Um, <laughs> I've done that wrong. I have done that wrong. Um, I'm going to have to make... I'm going to have to make more soul shards again now. Okay, well, this this is a good start. Right, uh, I know this is, like, super, super loud. Uh, in fact, let's maybe put... We can probably help the blaze. Burning. 
player. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit calmer. So I'm, I'm here at the thing, and that's because I'm, I'm trying to get soul shards. And the way we do this is a brazier and two stone hands. And what we do is we put some redstone there like that uh, and this. And then we light it on fire, and basically it will take some of these souls and turn them into soul shards. Uh, so like that. Oh, look at that. All pretty. There you go. And you can sort of see it happening. There we go. Uh, is that on? Let's just turn that off. There we go. Oh, let's maybe just do that. And that should have... Yeah. Oh, there we go. 13. There was five. There was five in there at that point. Oh, wow. Loads more. 19. So let's maybe do a few of these and sort of see how that goes. But this, at least, this is pretty easy for me. Now it says undead, but it seems to also... I don't know. I don't know if it's hitting the blazers. I figured it would definitely do the drowned. I don't know if if these guys count as undead or not. I don't know. I don't know. But this is pretty simple. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a few of these and then hopefully we can actually... We can actually get um, some of that gold, arcane gold, I think. So that's not too bad. And this is what it looks like here. Uh, it is, there you go, the crystallization ritual. Um, but there's there's more rituals, but there we go. That is how we do that one. Ha ha ha, yes. Yes, give me more soul shards. Lovely stuff. Boom. Okay, just to show that I'm not completely inept. Now if I put those in there... He says, and then immediately, literally cannot throw stuff in. So that was a good start to showing my lack of ineptitude. There we go. That, we wait until that changes the colour, which we did get, to be fair. Come on. There we go. And now we do that. It's actually pretty fast, once you know what you're doing. There we go. Lovely stuff. And basically, I just took that out for for this, um, essentially. That's that's what I've done. Um, it's a bit annoying that I guess that I can't. I probably can't sort that out so that it, it just doesn't do that. I don't think I can actually um, have that happen. So I've got, oh, I need 16 of that. And then lesser soul gem and a shadow gem. What are these things? Uh, soul gem. Wow. Uh, so that, that, that. Wow. Okay, well, let's try it then. Four and nether quartz. And that, I presume, is stirring it twice. This is actually pretty hard. Um, so one, two. One, two. Like that. We need at least one quartz. What else was it? Uh, four soul shards. So, hang on, right. That, that, one, two, three, four. There we go, that. Is, that's what we're up to, basically. Um, so, let, well, let's just do that quickly. There we go. So, can I? There we go. So, one, two, wait for it to change colour, I presume, and then stir it twice, and then, okay, okay, and then quartz. One, two, one, two. Wait for the thing to happen. One, two, three, four. Then one stir. Two stir. Wait for the thing to happen. And then that. Yes! We've done the... Th wow. One lesser soul gem. And how... He wants me to make eight. Wow. And then a shadow gem, which I presume is basically the same kind of way. Shadow gem. Yes. Yes, it is, but with, wow, with a lot more stuff. Essence of Death, what's that? Peculiar material, it gleams like a diamond. Um, I have no idea what Essence of Death is. Uh, reagents, right. Sulfur, yeah, okay, okay. Wow, even more stuff. Wretched ingredient, coarse black powder contains the very nature of undeath, distilled within it. Its value in necromantic processes is unmatched. Is unmatched yet by any other material. Okay. Um, oh, and I need a zombie heart. Man, 
Um, how how do I get as what's what's a zombie heart when it's at home? There's a lot of cool stuff here by the looks of it. Um, when it equipped, greatly reduced. Okay, yeah, okay. So not exactly flight. Uh, what else have we got? S yeah, I don't really know. Gosh, um, mystical signs. Oh, there we go. Uh, monsters. Ah, occasionally zombie hearts. Right. I actually, I've seen a lot of these around. I don't know if I've seen any zombie hearts around. Um, uh, heart? Mm, yeah. No, <laughs> I do not. Um, that's, I don't know what to do about that. That is a bit of a roadblock. I've been looking through some stuff and... I found an item which might be interesting. Um, I think it's that. And then one, two, three, four. No, no, I've done it wrong. What, what, uh, oh, I need more arcane gold. Dang it. Because um, I, I don't think you can... I don't think there's a way of, like, putting stuff in like that. Mm. No, 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 there isn't. Right, so gold inlay at the sides. Arcane gold there. Diamonds at the edges. One, nope. Those are stone hands. Don't need those. One, two, three, four. So I ended up making a a, a fair bit of arcane gold. Well, I say fair bit. Sixteen. Not that much, but there you go. Bam. The soul enchanter. Ha ha ha. Do I not even get a thing for that? Apparently not, because well, that's just there. But I did. I did. I totally did that. Right. Soul enchanter is a different, peculiar way to enchant your items. It can only do. Basic level 1 enchants and we'll use soul shards, but you will be able to enchant an already enchanted item and boost it even more. I thought that could be interesting. If an item already has an enchant, it will also be able to upgrade to a higher level of that enchant, allowing you for more control. Now, I don't know if this needs bookcases or anything like that. Um, well, let us... I have this here. Um, I don't know if that will be put in. Oh, yes, yes. Soul bound, looting one, fire aspect. Is this all stuff that I have already? Hmm. So what? I can put soul bound on it, but that I don't even have soul bound on that. Um. And I don't have looting one. So hmm. That is, I'm a bit unsure about that. Like I don't know what it does exactly. Can I put that in range one and breaking life mending one, which is the worst enchantment. Um, will that stay there? No, no, it does not. Right, let's just make a sword quickly. Just to sort of see. Um, I was sort of very interested in, like, it being able to bump up stuff, I guess. But if you don't get to decide what it does, that's, like, less good. Um, I won't lie. Vigilante 1, range 1. Luck of the cheap repairing. So what, if I get that, I've got luck of cheap... Cheap repair, looting one, bane of illagers, capturing one, life mending that that vigilante one. Yeah. So, hmm, what does is that the same frost aspect? No. Tell, uh, let's just do that. Soul bound teleportation knockback. Just put soul bound on vorpal bane sharpness. So this is basically how I guess how I could try and like I don't know what cavalier is. Sweeping Edge, Bane of the Illagers 1, Sh Sharpness 2, uh, Sweeping Edge, Scavenger 1, why not, Smite 1, Knowledge of the Ages, Knowledge of the Ages. <laughs> I'm trying desperately to get capturing on that again, but I guess that is the way to do it I would imagine of basically making like an ultimate sword but you're gonna have to keep like putting random stuff on it I would imagine unless I cannot get capturing on that anymore because you, I this is the thing I presume actually thinking about it that it won't let me go above capturing five but that's kind of interesting that's quite a nice little extra thing I've also seen uh, in rituals there we go 
Uh, you can lesser summoning. There you go. So if you're wondering how, if you're not in a mod pack and you don't have like a mop farm or something, how do you get you know the soul shards? We can summon things. A bit of coal. Oh, but you need a soul shard to do it. So that's that's still not that great. But look, southern summon with a skeleton. That's kind of interesting. Um, I thought I don't know what's that thing. Soul sand. Like what's that dude? That I would have thought. Is that the hand? Gosh, you know what? I don't know now. Um, no, those are just things. Okay, item receptacles. I don't understand. I don't understand what that would be. Like, lights... Oh, is that the thing? Do you have to eat a thing? No, that doesn't make sense. I am confused. I am naught but confused. Does that have to be on there? Like, what does that mean? I do not know. Um, hang on. Right then. I think I figured it out. I needed a necrotic focus. There we go. Like that. Um, there you go. That looks a lot more like it. So let's, I guess, see. That's quite interesting if we can just do this. Um, I presume we can. Let's maybe get that on. Oh. Oh, it should actually put it on here as well. Um, oh, yeah, look, it's, stuff is happening. You can actually use enchanted ash, which you get by burning bone, smelting bone. Oh, there you go. Oh, and that, <laughs> that immediately killed it. Um, oh, and we got ourselves a little, a little cheeky that. That is... That is interesting. Um... That's fairly interesting to me. I wonder, like, you basically need charcoal for the middle, uh, bone, and soul sand and soul shards uh, in order to get one of those. That's not too bad, though. That's quite an interesting thing. And, yeah, if you get enchanted ash, uh, ash, there we go, like that, um, you can basically put that in the ground, and that will stop mobs from being able to, like, you know, you can circle them, and then they won't be able to get out. So that's a... That's like a, a vaguely interesting way of being able to do that. But I quite... That is... That's interesting that you can do that. That's like a super, I think, cheap way of actually getting... Um, of getting wither skeletons. I mean, I think the most expensive thing there is the soul shard. That, yeah, pause for thought. But anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I think we'll do uh, another episode next on Adelon. I'm quite liking just figuring stuff out and seeing if we can, I don't know, maybe automate some of this stuff if it becomes useful. I don't know yet. I don't know. We shall see. But thank you so much for watching. Do the like and comment and subscribe thing if you fancy. I have been Hector. This has been Enigmatica6 on my Patreon server. Do check me out on Twitch as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.